Today, I'm going to be giving you my opinion on the talents for the brand new infantry commanders, VIP 18, 19, and 20, the brand new KVK format, and everything else. What's going on, guys? It's OmniArc, and I don't know if I missed this, but I don't think I've seen other content creators talk about the talent trees here on these two new commanders. I posted this over on the community page on my YouTube channel. A couple of you guys did see we got 51 thumbs up here. Uh, but guys, if you're not subscribed, you're gonna miss this stuff. So make sure you subscribe. This is not a leak, by the way. I know, and I appreciate a lot of you guys have been reaching out to me saying omniarch be careful with the leaks will it's gonna take you down and i again i do appreciate that very very much i'm being very careful uh obviously lilith has been cracking down on you know on leaks and that's why we haven't heard too much about a lot of the upcoming changes to the game but what you're looking at here is not a leak this was actually posted by the official rise of kingdoms verified facebook account over on the vietnamese facebook page so uh this is real this is i mean unless their account got hacked or something like that i i don't know but uh yeah this is real these are real images that are out in the public uh, i didn't get this from uh you know a hacker source or anything like that uh, we have chiak here who is an infantry versatility attack based commander and then pakal over here with also obviously infantry conquering defense tree so super interesting combinations here i was sort of on the right track with uh chiak when i said that he might be similar to alexander that was sort of my prediction for him but i was completely i completely missed uh missed the mark with pakal over here having a defense a defense conquering commander that's going to be really really interesting so i'm just trying to think about like what talents are going to be good when rallying a city with the defense tree is desperate lg gonna be op right like when your rally gets below 30 percent you're gonna get a bunch of extra rage i, I don't know testudo formation is gonna be nice i'm i'm confused okay i'm confused because you're are you gonna still go to the top of the infantry tree if you have the conquering tree i i don't know but there's no way to max out two trees so if you're gonna go all the way to the top of the infantry tree you can't go all the way to the top of the defense tree so uh, again i have no idea what the best talent builds are going to be uh for this this new uh, commander pakal if he is going to be any good now we still don't know the official skill descriptions for these commanders as i mentioned in my previous video what we talked about in that video were leaks that i was maybe 50 50 on right and in that video i didn't and just to be clear right nothing in that video was copyrighted in material the images that you saw of the actual text were recreated by somebody else right uh, somebody who like sort of fan made it but um yeah I, I don't know I, I don't know if that if those leaks are true or not people keep asking me that I have no idea um, again Lilith is really cracking down on that stuff so um, yeah moving forward if there's any like real actual leaks I'll probably have to post them only in my discord uh, so if you guys aren't a part of my discord go ahead and uh, go ahead link in the description follow me over on discord because that's probably where we're gonna have to see leaks moving forward uh, but again none of this stuff that I've showed in the last video or in this video uh, is like actually leaked images or anything like that so we should be okay but we'll see we'll see how upset Lilith is about this but yeah let me know guys in the comment section below what you think about the talent trees were you accurate with your predictions on these guys or were you completely wrong I have no idea what to think I'm hoping Chiak is going to be a super good pairing with Alexander because Alexander is just the the gift that keeps on giving uh, for the infantry gang and he's just he's so good at that whenever there's a new infantry commander that comes out you have to test him with Alexander because Alexander is just so so powerful so Chiak, I wonder if he's also going to be in that same sort of camp. Uh, perhaps a Chiak Alexander pairing could be super, super broken. Now, before we talk about the March of the Ages update, I quickly want to talk about VIP, okay? Because this was part of that update, and a lot of people are very passionate about the VIP system and how they feel that it's unfair, and, and you know, whether or not it affects them, they like to talk about VIP. And some people wanted to know my opinion on the implementation of a new VIP, maybe because I, you know, I, I'm not VI, I'm not Max VIP right i've never really pushed to be max vip so maybe you're just looking for the opinion of a content creator who doesn't spend 10 20 thousand dollars on this game but regardless let's talk about vip 18 19 and 20 okay because you guys have probably seen the leaks from what was that january or february a few months ago um the the new vip the new vip levels uh sort of leaks i don't know i think it was baba who first talked about it and legend roni showed some leaked uh images that uh, you know allegedly showed some of the rewards for the daily chests for vip 
and you know lilith has acknowledged this right they admitted that these vip levels were coming so officially we are getting vip 18 but i want you guys i, I want this to be clear right vip 19 and 20 are coming they are coming this is not uh, i'm not speculating this is not uh you know this isn't a leak or anything like that okay let me show you how i know that they're coming right what we're looking at here are in-game assets okay this is vip zero this is vip one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen 16 17 and i'm i'm pro i guess i'm gonna have to blur this out uh because i don't want lilith to like bring me to court but this is vip 18 this is vip 19 and this is vip 20. like these are in the game files and they've been in the game files since like Wu Zetian came out like Lilith is playing the long game okay they're playing the long game they've anticipated having 20 VIP levels probably since the game first came out and they came up with the VIP system they probably thought okay we'll put 15 VIP levels in now and then we'll have some some room for improvement all the way up to 20 so we know that they're gonna go all the way up to 20 okay so what's my thoughts on this what well honestly I don't see I don't see uh, a need for VIP 18, 19, and 20. I, I just don't. Now, Lilith, obviously, they, they've, if they've had this plan forever, that means that there's some metric that they're paying attention to that when that metric reaches a certain, uh, you know, key indicator, uh, then they release a new VIP, right? So I don't know if that's like percentage of monthly active users who are max VIP. I don't know if it's like monthly revenue from whales or something like that. I don't know what that metric is, but clearly that metric has been hit. Perhaps it was hit six months ago when they were originally going to release vip 18 uh, but the community was freaking out about a lot of the changes to like kvk tech and all that stuff and they just felt like maybe it's not the right time regardless i don't see a need for vip 18 right and i know you're gonna hear a, a different story from people who are pay to win or, or mega whales right they're gonna tell you that you know max vip players are losing out on the 200 vip per day uh they have all this vip saved up in there in their items right the vip items uh and honestly i need this to be abundantly clear okay look at this achievement right here guardians of the kingdom 0.23 percent of what i assume to be all accounts has unlocked a tier 5 unit okay less than half of less than a quarter of a percent of the accounts in this game even have t5 okay now i know that's a bit misleading right because a lot of play like if you make an account you play for an hour and then you delete the game that's an account right and lilith isn't deleting those accounts so i understand that this is a little bit misleading okay i i get that uh, but the number of players who not only uh, not not just t5 but the players who are also max vip is is exponentially lower than this right because again i have spent thousands of dollars on this game i have and i've been in really high spending active alliances pretty much the entire last two years at least right so i, I can say with confidence that players who even players who spend thousands of dollars like me uh, aren't the aren't max vip right um so what i need you to understand is that the number of players that are complaining about uh having all these extra vip items in in here and you know they're not collecting their daily 200 or vip whatever the case is that is such a fraction of a fraction of a percent of the player base and they're very vocal right because they're the most invested in the game they love the game they've played it forever they're still such a mega minority that i i don't know it just to me i'm not worried about it right i'm not worried about the players who have too much vip I, i'm really not it just to me i'm sorry i don't care <laughs> I, I really don't there's just so many bigger problems with the game that uh adding a new vip level is not solving anything right it's really not doing anything other than giving big spenders in it, an incentive to keep spending right which hey that keeps the game up and running which is great and i i, I understand that i obviously this is a business right so i get that but again at the end of the day i just don't see a need for vip 18. now what they do with the buffs is a different story um if we see another all damage five percent that would be game breaking right like okay that's i'm being hyperbolic it's it wouldn't be game breaking but it would be annoying right it would be annoying you already have five percent extra damage on vip 17. so i don't know these are good buffs to me these are good buffs i think you know vip 17 plus uh should just be a prestige system that's really what i what i would like i would like for there to just not be an 18 19 20 and make vip 17 the last vip and then every time you max out this bar wh while you're 17 it increases everything in here by one that's what i would like to see or change this gold key to whatever the uh the legendary tavern keys that would be ideal personally or change this to like a purple chest or something like that i don't know make this four and then if you max out vip 17 for a third time you make it five that's how i think they should do it i think these buffs are super good right 
but that's not what Lilith is going to do. Okay. They're going to add 18, 19, 20. I think what they add here is going to make a big difference. Hopefully it's something minor, like reduces hospital healing cost by 5% or 10% or something like that. Um, this, we already have that here, but I would like them to do that even more because it's just, it's still so expensive for T5 units, right? Um, more action point limitation would be fine with me you know stuff like that i don't mind uh more production obviously of resources especially gold would be huge like if they specifically jump this up to like a hundred percent like double gold production that would be fine with me as well uh, but honestly you know I, I just again i don't see a need for another vip right now clearly they think that there is a reason based on whatever statistic they have but yeah guys brace yourself uh the the, the vip 19 and 20 game files have been there forever so we know they're coming so uh, this is not the end of a new vip okay we've talked long enough about all that stuff let's talk about update 1.0.48 march of the ages so this is coming on the 6th you're going to be able to download the game data sooner than that which means we're probably going to see leaks for the new commanders a couple of days before the 6th so probably in like three days or something like that uh if i'm i probably won't make a video on it honestly because lilith will probably just take it down but again go join my discord if you uh are interested in that type of stuff um march of the ages is a new kvk format coming soon it will go live within the first two weeks my kingdom as you can see here um could register for a kvk we decided not to because of this new kvk format so um i may be joining this new kvk format uh within the next couple of weeks right um so that should be exciting i'll get sort of first-hand experience as to what this kvk format is going to be sort of like um it says here the map will be super large actually let's talk about this a little bit it says um governors are no longer able to move wherever they please in this new game mode but must instead trek to victory by carefully planning their base sphere of influence and army to seize the momentum so i don't know what this means right because it's not like you could teleport wherever you wanted in any kvk you were limited to whatever zone that you were in with the passes and then you also could only teleport onto territory that's part of your alliance or coalition or whatever um so maybe they're just gonna remove random teleports from this game mode i don't know because that's the only way that you can move wherever you wanted sort of right um I don't know how that's going to work, but it says super large maps. March of the ages maps are twice the size of any other story maps. So that's exciting. I know a lot of people have complained, uh, complained about the size of KVK maps. Um, because you know, when you're in these maps, it's just, it becomes sort of difficult. If you're in a super populated, really active kingdom, it becomes sort of difficult in like the starting zones to, um, farm the appropriate resources that you need and stuff like that. So big map equals better for KVK. I just, that's what I think. Ancient pagodas governors are long, no longer free to move their cities wherever they will and must first establish a foundation stone around an ancient pagoda under their under uh, under their control to move cities i can't read today apparently so what i'm assuming is going to be the case is a pass is going to open and then you're not going to be able to teleport or build through that pass you're not going to be able to build flags into that new zone until you send maybe a rally or marches into a certain uh, ancient pagoda and maybe defeat whatever pve content is in that pagoda and then you have to construct a foundation stone and then maybe that foundation stone can then be connected to the territory that you already have that's what i'm envisioning based on how this is worded obviously we'll have to wait and see um but yeah i i, I am assuming that you're not gonna be able to just build through a pass once you take it that's that's kind of what i'm thinking um forward camps governors uh, can establish forward camps at the front lines which are critically important structures for healing troops and supplying reinforcements governors careful placement of their forward camps will contribute significantly to victory on this map so that's interesting this sounds to me similar to a fortress right an alliance fortress um maybe this will be something that your camp can build together right um i don't really know what to think about this if you like let's say your troops are at half health and they and you they run into an, a fortress uh, camp uh, like they join the building of a fortress camp would they be able to then heal their units over time sort of like you collect alliance credits over time would you heal units over time or how would that work i have no idea how this is going to work um that sounds interesting though um it kind of gives you you know if you're not able to build flags wherever you want uh, as an alliance or coalition or whatever um it'll be nice to at least be able to have troops in the open field and then you don't have to go all the way back home because you're so far away because you don't have flags nearby right you'll be able to just send your armies to a camp heal them up and then you're good to go again so i imagine that's sort of the problem that they're, they're trying to solve with this uh the supply radius is an area centered around a governor's city or forward camps for garrison troops 
uh, and hugely impact your troops ability to do damage governors should try to limit their engagements to within the supply radius as much as possible to ensure troops continue to deal full damage so this is i'm assuming their way of um adding a battling on your own territory feature without there being an abundance of alliance flags if you're unable to sort of build wherever you want now i don't know if the supply radius is maybe something that's picked by your alliance leaders or coalition leaders or whatever the case is or if every player gets a supply radius that they can use for themselves i really have no idea honestly i seriously I have no clue uh derelict passes the map is scattered with an abend with abandoned passes so derelict uh as to be impossible to control or traverse this throws a chaotic element into the mix for every kingdom at the beginning uh as each faces a different set of strategic choices and governors must proactively plan and discuss how to overcome such challenges my assumption is that with the generation of a new uh with a new march of the ages map there will be some passes that are rallyable some that aren't and that probably will change every single time um we'll have to wait and see how big of an impact that actually has on the game mode but adding some variation you know every time will be nice unless it's just straight up inconvenient like if this is implementing inconvenience just for randomness sake i think that's kind of stupid uh but we'll have to see how that plays out next champion of, uh, olympian um, champions of olympia i told you i can't read today improvements um it was a hit by many governors and we uh, received a lot of good suggestions we've taken a hard look we've modified the colors so that way you are always blue they are always red at the enemies and a uh, green system to mark uh enemy rally ally and your own troops whatever that's good um whenever i would play as red i would get confused honestly and that's probably because i'm low iq uh but yeah this is <laughs> this is good your allies are always blue your enemy is always red i like that governors can tap to like and befriend other governors from the result screen i think this is only useful if it increases the probability that you match with them again uh if this is just sort of like some social network feature then that's stupid who cares uh spawn zones uh, now have shorter recovery times versus replenishment points so that is interesting so prior to this it was more uh beneficial to run away from a an engagement that you couldn't win uh and go heal at a node because if you actually lost the engagement it would take you like a minute to respawn this says now that it will be shorter to respawn than to run to a recovery point so that is interesting um, i think they realized that you know if you die not only is the respawn timer super long but you also have to run all the way back to the action so now um you have a choice to make um if if you're fighting your your front flag you might as well just die right because there's no point in running to a reheal uh point uh but if you're fighting at the enemy forward flag then maybe it's better to run away and heal and then run back so that's interesting i think that's a good change governors can now tap and hold over an empty space in the battlefield no one cares uh governors can tap the map in the top right corner to issue mark orders um okay that's good uh you but previously you actually had to click on the zoomed in app to uh, map to add an order uh now i guess you can just do it in the top right that's intuitive i like that the power of damaging skills on the battlefield will now change with the strength of the casting troops um i don't know what that means i don't know if like maybe like the watch the tower that you could build uh just dealt a flat rate damage um so yeah that's cool i guess whatever other optimizations a certain ratio of troop units that got killed during lost kingdom uh event prior to season of conquest will also be returned after the end of the event that is good uh guys they're not going to be giving you back your troops from old kvks they're just not okay this is just going to be moving forward moving forward kvks one through three you'll get troops back at the end if you've already lost troops in those kvks sorry they're dead also this is good right this is good getting zeroed in kvk one through three was a huge deal getting zeroed in season of conquest isn't that big of a deal now this is you know this is how it should be um and this is good if they want people to participate in every kvk right uh we've added a new alliance log feature to make it uh, very easy to check alliance events members battle information and so on that's good uh vip 18 we've talked about already new exclusive buffs is interesting um and vip special bundles uh bundles P plural are you gonna be able to buy multiple bundles at vip 18 i don't know we'll have to wait and see um we've modified the osiris league uh, grand finals format honestly i don't really care about that um we've imposed numerical caps on the ability of governors to enter new kingdoms using the beginner's teleport to help foster a better player experience and ecosystem within such kingdoms so that means um only a certain number of players can teleport into a new kingdom uh with the beginner teleport so the days of having massive jumper groups are i guess over um i don't know they don't tell you what that cap is so it is what it is um we fixed harold's uh stamford bridge skill to match the description um i hate when they do this right 
and not that I hate that they're making it more accurate to understand. I love that. Um, but I hate that they never compensate the players for this. I always think they should. Investing in a commander is based on what you feel their skills do at the time of investing. And so if their text was wrong, you've invested in a commander uh, unknowingly. Um, whether it's good or bad that they change this, I still think players should be compensated for changing incorrect descriptions. It's not their fault. It's yours. Um, but yeah, his strength in combat remains unchanged. So yeah, Harold is not getting buffed or nerfed. He's staying exactly the same. They're just making it more clear as to what he does. Improved readability of Bastion quest rules and descriptions. That's good. Added the new King skill exile with the following effect. A city with an active peace shield will be forced to randomly teleport to their initial province. If the city does not have a peace shield on, then it will take 5% increased damage for the next 30 minutes. So this is really good this is really good um this is a good way to punish players who are just against the kingdom right um now one of the things that i thought was if you force them to teleport back to their initial province and then they just teleport away um then what happens right my assumption is that if you if your city has the exile skill not only will you be forced to teleport into that province uh but you won't be able to teleport into other provinces because it will immediately teleport you back that's my assumption as to how that will work otherwise there's really no point of doing that unless they're offline, right? That's really just what it is. Because if they randomly teleport, then you have to be paying attention to where they teleport in order to um, to lock them in place, right? Or imprison them. So yeah, I don't know. Um, but I assume they've already thought of that. I'm uh, like Lilith is, you know, I'm assume that they know that, that you should prevent them also from being able to teleport outside of that province as well. If the city does not have a peace shield on, then it will take 5% increased damage for the next 30 minutes. So that's good. That's good. That's for players who are, if you're act, if the players actually offline and you were able to imprison them, right? Um, then that's good. They'll take more damage. If they put on a peace shield, then it teleports them away, uh, into a province that, you know, you want them in. So yeah, all, all, all in all, this is a huge update. A new KVK format is exciting. It's much needed, right? Hopefully they made no, they made no reference to technology here, but I imagine there will be technology here. I don't really know. I'm kind of sick of technology and KVK to be honest with you. Um, I also am not a fan of fog. Clearing fog is not fun to me. It's boring. It makes me feel like I have to be constantly online to be clearing fog, and that's just stupid. Uh, but that's just my opinion. I know some people like the ability to do that, and they like the tech, and and it gives them the use for their speed ups. So, so um, hey, it is what it is. Uh, tell me what you guys think of this update in the comments section below. What do you think of the new VIP level and levels that will continue to come? What do you guys think about the talents over here on our commanders, our brand new infantry commanders? Chiak and Pakal. Um, let me know if you, you know, are, are a fan of these talents or if you're confused or whatever. I would love to hear from you guys down there. As always, if you found the video useful or informative or entertaining or anything like that, drop a thumbs up on it. It really helps the channel a ton. It helps get this video out into the YouTube algorithm so other Rise of Kingdoms players might see it. And all my social media links, they're in the description below. Make sure you follow me on all of them, especially my Discord. That's probably where leaks are going to live uh, moving forward. Um, I'll, you know, if I can talk about them on the channel, I will. But for physically showing leaks, I might have to be doing it on Discord. So do that. Um, but however, subscribe to the channel. Still subscribe. Click that bell to be notified the next time that I upload a Rise of Kingdoms video. Um, comments down below. Again, your thoughts on pretty much anything. I want to hear. There's just so much going on right now in Rise of Kingdoms. So I want to hear your comments down below. If you haven't downloaded rise of kingdoms for your pc what are you waiting for link in the description to download it with blue stacks it's my favorite way to play rise of kingdoms i've used it for years way before youtube for like clash of clans and stuff like that um, and if you don't like the program you can uninstall it later but uh, it does help out the channel a ton when you do download with my link so make sure you do that and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace